The nines times table. In this short video, we'll share some tricks to help us remember the nines times table. And we'll use this box full of cubes to help us visualize them. So as the name suggests, we say nine times. So if I put my hand in this box nine times and get one cube each time, I'll end up with nine in total. So nine times, one each time, I'll end up with nine. So nine times one is equal to nine. Nine times two. So if I do this nine times and I get two each time, I'll end up with 18. Nine times three is 27. Nine times four is 36. Nine times five is 45. Nine times six is 54. Nine times seven is 63. Nine times eight is 72. Nine times nine is 81. Nine times 10 is 90. Nine times 11 is 99. Nine times 12 is 108. So you will have noticed in the pattern that we add in up nine each time. So nine, add in another nine gives us 18 and another nine is 27 and another nine is 36 and so on. Also, if you look at the pattern, what's happening in the units column up to the nine times 10 is that it's going down by one each time. So nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And the tens column is going up by one each time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Also, what happens is that when you, so this is going to be a zero, when you multiply nine by one, the answer starts with one less. So one less than one is zero. If you multiply nine by two, the answer again starts with one less, which is one. So two take away one is one. Three take away one is two. Four take away one is three. Five take away one is four. Six take away one is five and so on. So we know that when we multiply nine by a number, the answer is going to start with one less than that number. So if I do nine times six, the answer is going to begin with five. So one less than six. Also, looking at the pattern, zero and nine added together gives us nine. One add eight gives us nine. Well, two add seven gives us nine. Three at six gives us nine. Four at five gives us nine. Five at four gives us nine. Six at three gives us nine. Seven at two gives us nine. Eight at one gives us nine. Nine at zero gives us nine. So this helps us now. So going back to this multiplication sum that I started, we get nine times six we said it starts with one less which is five so what is that other digit that i can add to five to give me nine so five and four make nine together so i can do another example nine times eight for example so i know the answer is going to begin with one less which is seven seven add what gives me nine and that is two so the answer is 72. so up to 10, these are straightforward to work out as long as you remember this trick. 9 times 10, as we said, just add a 0 at the end. 9 times 11, again, is 99. So 9 for the tens and 9 for the units. So that is, again, easy to work out. 9 times 12, we can break this down into 10 and 2. So 10 times 9 is 90. 2 times 9 is 18. Add them together, it gives us 108. Or go to 9 times 11, which is 99. Add another 9, which gives us 108. Since we also know that, let's say 9 times 4 is the same as 4 times 9, we can use this trick with all of the other times tables when it comes to multiplying them by 9. So 
9 times 6, for example, it gives us 54. When you look at the 6 times tables, you'd have 6 times 9, which is probably harder to work out. So you can do instead 9 times 6 or 9 times 8 instead of 8 times 9. So what I suggest that you do now is write these on a piece of paper, repeat them again and again, and use the tricks to work the answers out.